Welcome to The Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. So let's get started with today's show. Now, today's show is a follow-up on the Audible Captions case. Now, I talked about that in a previous video. Uh, Basically, the issue was that Audible was going to launch a program where the reader could look at the text of the book as they were listening to the audiobook. Okay, so this publisher's group, AAP, got all up in arms about it. And their contention was that this would constitute an ebook, essentially. And therefore, you know, they would be entitled to royalties or revenues and all those kinds of things. And so they thought Amazon and Audible were overstepping their bounds. So they brought Amazon Audible to court. Now, that case has apparently been settled. Uh, There's still some details that are kind of sketchy right now (laughs) in terms of the the final uh, outcome of all of it. But from all the reports I've seen, uh, the end result was that Audible will not include that publisher's group's works in these captions. Apparently, it will still be uh, available or could be done or they have the option, let's say, uh, to do it for public domain works. Um, And there is some thought in some of the reports that I have seen that it will apply to all copyrighted works, that there won't be any text captions going on on Audible for copyrighted works. Now, again, you know, some of this stuff is still um, a little up in the air right now, but that's uh, the latest uh, report on that. Now, as I mentioned in the other video, to me, it it doesn't bother me that there's text on on Audible. It just doesn't. It would be like YouTube captions, and then I'm I'm going to YouTube and saying, hey, you know what, Um, that's an ebook. Or like if you're streaming a TV show and they've got the captions at the bottom, oh no, you are selling the script. We should get paid for the script. Oh, I, I just don't, I'm just not in total agreement with that. You know, I understand their concern because, you know, you don't want all these big tech companies overstepping their capabilities and um, stealing, you know, rights and royalties from you. You know, I, I understand that, but I just don't think this is as big of a deal as it was made out to be. But that's me. You may have a completely different opinion, but that's where that case is right now. And in other audiobook news, there's a new ACX audio analysis tool available on ACX. This is really cool. And wouldn't you know, as soon as I had published my audiobook, Networking for Authors, then I get the email that this new tool is available. (laughs) And they said, hey, hey, test it out. Thinking, you know, I just finished the darn book. Now I have to. So what I did is I um, asserted one of my other titles that I haven't done the audio edition for yet. And I did a test run with it. Now, here's what I found. When I uploaded the test chapter uh, to ACX, it automatically was analyzing the audio file, the MP3 file, when it got uploaded. And then it just said, you know, okay. It didn't show any issues. And then there's another tab on the interface where it will show you a list of all the issues that come up. So it's really a nice addition because um, as I talked about, if you've taken my How to Self-Publish an Audiobook course, uh, I talk about how to use the uh, Nyquist ACX check 
prompt uh, that is available on Audacity. Um, and that's really a helpful tool for seeing if your work is close to being acceptable to ACX uh, standards. Uh, but this just gives you an extra uh, measure of confidence that your files comply with their technical aspects and requirements. So uh, that is a great new tool. If you do have an audiobook coming out, do try it. And um, so that's fantastic. So uh, a lot of a lot of audiobook news uh, this week. And as I mentioned just a little bit ago, my new audiobook and Kindle ebook, Networking for Authors, is available. I think you'll really appreciate a lot of my uh, insight and experience that I share with you uh, from my years of networking as both just a small business person and an author. And there's some unique aspects of uh, networking when you're an author. And so I address those specifically. So uh, do check that out. And if you found these tips and news updates helpful, uh, please subscribe, rate, and review The Heidi Thorne Show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and Podbean. If you like the video version better, it's available on YouTube. You just have to subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notifications. I believe it's the notifications uh, bell symbol to turn those on so you know when a new video is available. My self-published books, audiobooks, print books, and ebooks are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. You just have to go to my Heidi Thorne author page on any of those sites and you'll see all the books that are available there. Of course, I would appreciate it if you would share The Heidi Thorne Show and my books with your friends on social media. And if you want to connect with me, my website is very simply HeidiThorne.com. Thank you so much for listening and for your support. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.